Hey guys, today we continue the pop haul with some random pops that I picked up. We've got Injured Daryl, we've got Egret from Game of Thrones, we've got Gogo -Go Yubari, the exclusive bloody version from Kill Bill, and my newest one from the Peanuts line, Snoopy and Woodstock. So let's look at them. Alright, so here's Injured Daryl from the television series specifically Walking Dead. He's number 100. And it shows the different Walking Dead figures here. The one thing about the Walking Dead, especially the early series, since they're in the television group, their numbers and their orders are kind of mixed in with the other television characters. So you'll see that the if you go through the numbering that Rick Grimes and the governor and some of the early ones are actually not grouped together. They're actually just in order that they release them in the television set. But as you get later in the set, like this one, is, you know, you've got Carl's 97, Maggie's 98, um, Penny Walker is 99, Daryl's 100, and then the uh, Woodbury Walker is 101. So they do do them in order after you get to the later series, just not in the beginning. So the earlier ones are kind of mixed in. Um, there's another injured Daryl pop that's an exclusive, a Hot Topic. It's called Bloody Injured Daryl, and he's got blood splatter on him like the other bloody Walking Dead figures. But this guy looks bad enough. Poor guy. He's got an arrow going right through him. Um, so as the, far as the model, this is one of the uglier pops I've seen. And it's really weird because what they tried to do was make it really, like, dingy. So you had that feeling that Daryl's in a really bad way. His arms and his chest, everything looks... Uh, dingy and sweaty and dirty. Um, the problem with that is that when you do that, you've got the color of the dirt on his arms and everything, but then his head, other than the bruising and the little bleeding part, is clean, right? So the colors don't match. Like if, You can really tell on the side. If you look at his arm, which is really dingy and dirty, and then you look at his head, the colors don't match. So they could have done a better job of either making sure the head was was dirty and dingy a little bit, or they could have cleaned up the body a little bit. The body doesn't really look like like the head. The body looks like it's been through um, been through a lot longer of a ringer than the head does. Um, so the colors don't match that well. But other than that, there's no real flaws. I mean, the paint job looks really good. You know, we're always looking at the top of the head, right? And that's perfect. Um, Detail is good from the rag hanging out of the back of his pocket to his little necklace right there. Um, so the detail is really good. He's holding the arrow that's going through him, which is kind of cool. So this is a cool figure. I like it. Um, they just could have done a little bit better job of matching. Made, made his head a little bit darker. Um, but that's about it. Daryl number 100. All right, next we've got Egret from Game of Thrones. This is number 18 from the Game of Thrones. This is edition three. So this is the third set of figures that Funko released for Game of Thrones. See that there's a lot of them. There's actually 12. And she is right about in the middle, right number 18. And what, the first thing I notice about this figure is how it doesn't match the box, particularly. Um, the figure doesn't have eyebrows where the box does. Uh, her hair is a lot redder here than it is on the box. It's a little more of a brown um, brown hair color there. So that's that's a little bit odd that the especially with the eyebrows um, that they don't match particularly. Uh, as far as the figure itself this is a good looking figure. It's detailed. They did a, a good job and what they try to do with these Game of Thrones figures with their bodies particularly and we saw that um, we see that on a lot of these and The Walking Dead as well which we saw with Daryl is they try to make their bodies look kind of uh, world worn. So her her wildling armor is dingy. Um, it's you know it, it has that look of being worn in, um, but it looks really good. I like the way she, they, the pose they've got her in with the bow and arrow. Head looks really good. I'm partial to the more red hair in this than on the box cover, so that's good. Um, maybe it's just because I have a weakness for redheads. I don't know. And uh, but as far as the paint goes, everything is perfect. I like the braids in the back. They did a really good job with that detail. Um, and the hair itself looks really good. Um, 
eyes are good. Um, tough to get eyes right a lot of the time, so there's usually a lot of bleeding. But this uh, figure looks really, really good. Just about perfect. This is Igret number 18. Okay, this is Gogo Yubari from Kill Bill number 71. This is the Entertainment Earth exclusive bloody-eyed version um, from the movies collection from Kill Bill. So it's got the other Kill Bill characters here. It shows the regular version of Gogo, -Go, which actually is the exact same figure as the bloody version with two exceptions. Maybe three if you count the fact that she doesn't stand up right. Uh, oddly, this exclusive figure, the bloody figure, came with a stand, but the regular figure that I got earlier did not. So that is an unusual um, difference. Uh, obviously the bloody eyes are different, and also, if you look very closely, you can see that on the exclusive bloody version, you've got the prep school logo on her shirt which you can also see on the picture but in the regular version she does not have that greenish logo so interesting differences there other than that they're the exact same model I'll go ahead and let that lay down um, as far as the model itself uh, looks really good no visible flaws um, I like her pose. I like the way she's holding her, um, whatever you would call that, ball and chain, her spiked ball and chain. And um, uh, it's a good pose, and it's a pose directly from the movie, so a little leg kick out and everything. Looks really good. I actually, I've wanted this figure for a while, and when I couldn't find the bloody version anywhere, I ended up getting the regular version, which I was fine with. But then I saw this in... A store so I picked it up so now I have both versions so that is bloody gogo -Go yubari number 71 okay here is Snoopy and Woodstock from the new peanuts line this is number 49 a couple interesting things about this figure is number one you notice that Woodstock is sitting down because I have yet to figure out a way that he will stand on his own outside of the box so this might be something, I mean, I've tried everything as far as every position to put him in, bending this way and that way, and he will just not stand up at all. So that's a little bit disappointing with this figure, because I really like it otherwise, um, but I just haven't figured out a way to get him to stand up. So that's a bit of a disappointment. He's just off balance completely. Um, those little feet just don't do it. Um, so this, these guys might have to stay in the box. Um, Another interesting thing about this particular figure and series is you've got it Peanuts, Snoopy Woodstock, and then all of the other Peanuts characters, and they have numbers, so this one is 49. There's definitely not 49 Peanuts characters. It's not assigned to any group um, as far as the box goes, but as far as the numbers go, it appears that these are included in the animation line, which is weird because it doesn't say pop animation or anything like that. But every checklist I've seen puts these in with the animation group. So it's weird that you've got just straight peanuts, but no pop animation or anything like that. But it does have a number that corresponds to being in that group. So that's what we're going to assume, that it's in the animation group. It just doesn't say it on the box, which is weird. Um, for the figures themselves, other than Woodstock not standing up, these are very basic. It's really hard to mess these up. Um, they're nice. This is what I call the mini pop series. Not really a mini, but with the character, it's a lot smaller than your normal pop. Obviously, this one is, but even Snoopy is on the tiny side. More uh, compared to, say, a Stewie figure or a... Um, it's even smaller than Gizmo and the Gremlins and that kind of thing. So a uh, very small pop figure. Um, but for the most part, looks good. Um, anything with a jet black part to it, you're always going to see, you're most likely going to see some little speck of white, some little flawed imperfection. But other than that, 
figure looks good. There's a little actually a little dot of blue on there too on the front, which is hard hard for the camera to pick up, but it's just a little bit of a scuff and a little scuff on the feet too. So a couple little paint flaws there um, that I didn't notice right at first. So there's definitely a couple of paint issues they have there. The Woodstock figure is just all yellow with two eyes. There's nothing you can mess up there. Um, and the mold is good on the fact that it will not stand up under any circumstances that I've been able to come up with. So um, that is Snoopy and Woodstock, Peanuts, animation number 49. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. We're going to review some more of this big haul here very shortly. See you later.